Hello everyone, so I'm starting the recording of my match against Eskil. It's round 5 of the tournament, uh, PBM tournament 2015. Uh, I'm Hiliaden and I'm playing against Eskil. I'm playing Necromancer, Draconian, uh, and uh, I don't know yet what Eskil is playing. So I've got one CD and two Necromancer heroes, uh, one level 3 and one level 4. And um, this is the fight I just did. Um, and so I just did this fight and I leveled up with my two heroes, so now they are level uh, 4 and 5. Uh, during the fight uh, I tried to maximize XP for my heroes and also to minimize losses. Um, so I'm fighting for a scroll to get some research points against uh, four phantom warriors. Um, and uh, so I, I basically what I'm doing is to put the cadavers on the front line and um, get the blows. Uh, get them killed, then reanimate them. Uh, and uh, so I also uh, fight with uh, a Dragon in Flamers. Uh, maybe it was a mistake because uh, that way I, I, I could not take all the blows with my heroes, and so some of the experiments went with Flamers. But that's um, a loss of profits, I guess. And then and with the heroes, I try to use all the uh, one square dice abilities like Curse. Uh, ghost here, uh, Heal and Dead, and Raise Cadavers. Uh, so, yeah, I'm putting the Cadavers on the front line. Uh, then I'm killing the units with the uh, heroes to, to get all the spell like, just like this. Um, and then, when the cat, when one Cadaver is dead, I just uh, raise it. Uh, and I can do it again if I have enough Raise Cadavers. And of course, when you raise a Cadaver, you get 100%. Uh, health points. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. It's kind of pretty well, You saw I just panic uh, coast here uh, for one of the Phantom Warrior, and so I can stall the combat because the Phantom Warrior is going away for two turns. Then I have time to raise cadavers, do my units, regroup, etc. Apply all my abilities, and then it comes back, and I can uh, do it again try to, um, to stall the combat for longer. So Curse Fear is a very very good ability, uh, both to stall the combat, in tactical combat, and also uh, to get some XP. But yeah, hopefully when we get a uh, PDM balance mod, uh, we can make that kind of uh, exploits in the game. But still, Curse Fear will still be a, a nice bit. Um, yeah, so now the Phantom Warrior is going to come back. And, uh, and then I'm going to, uh, to just do it, because uh, I already played all my abilities. Yeah, so I'm... I'm yeah, I'm And I raised... It doesn't show here, but I raised the cadaver. It's a bug in the display tree, but I raised the cadaver uh, with my, my second heroes. And now I'm going to take the other sites uh, next to here, so the gold mine and then later the city. So the abilities of my heroes. Um, so I already have Ghost Fear and uh, Draw Curse and now uh, I'm going to take uh, Lesser Reanimate Undead because it allows me to uh, reanimate my Cadavers and my other Undead um, so that's really a basic ability of Necromancer uh, and then for my leader um, I've got similar abilities and uh, now I think I will take Control Undead um, in order to take control of any undead. Uh, but actually I'm not sure what to do at this point. Uh, what I could do, what I know I want to do is to, at level 7, to get uh, greater animate undead, and then at level 9, anti brokers and inflict despair, I want to do it too, because it will uh, allow me to have 100% um, chance for inflict brokers. And Devil Corpse is also a pretty nice ability, uh, to heal, but control. I think I need to take control on dead 
or maybe Bane would be good. And uh, no, I still have three points, so I could take the Cops, but I will take it probably later. Um, so now I can move to the next site uh, for the next combat, so it's a gold mine. So I leveled up, leveled up again in this fight and uh, with my leader I'm going to take Necromancy 1 uh, for 5 points because I already have uh, control on dead on the leader and now I will be able to cast more spells and especially um, Stephen Lind, which is a really important spell. And about the, the combat I just did, uh, which what is interesting is that there was a lost soul so I, the turn before I took control on dead, and uh, actually the same turn I, I took control on dead, and I was about to use it immediately on the lost soul. So now I've, I've got one that I'm going to cast, and uh, this one, so I've got two lost soul, and it's a nice combo uh, with their uh, undying ability. Let's summarize this turn three. Uh, so I just did a fight against a mana node, um, which was okay, but I did a slight mistake because one of my cadaver ended up with 4 HP and then I moved it and it had, he had no HP left mm, movement point left, sorry so uh, he was going to die because of taking so I just um, disbanded him to avoid paying the 2 mana upkeep um, then I also did a battle with only my 2 heroes plus 2 lost soul against 3 phantom warriors which is quite crazy because if you imagine doing that with two cherubs and your two heroes, it's not possible. Uh, but again, I did a slight mistake because I, I lost one of my lost soul. It, it died twice. Uh, it's the first time I played Necromancer actually, so I'm not yet 100% used to it. Uh, and so if we sum up, and, and then yeah, I've got the research, uh, a spell. Um, and if we sum up, I, this turn I did. I leveled up twice and I did four battles. Um, yeah, and so about the spell, uh, I think I will research Stephen Nims to have it both with my heroes and my and my leader. Uh, it's a very strong spell, and then I've got several uh, destruction adept spells in my book because I, I chose destruction master, so I've got several destruction adept spells. I also choose uh, air adept, but I because I want uh, the fear bird for scooting because. Uh, Lost Soul are, are quite bad, but I don't have any Eradept spell yet. So yes, I'm going to pick Stephen Lim. And then as a second spell, um, Hasty Plunder is pretty nice, but I'm not yet inside of my opponent, so I will not choose it. Um, I think I will take Necromancy 1 to get more uh, casting points and be able to cast stuff like uh, Combat Spells and uh, Lost Souls, etc. Um, I could also take Vampiric Hunger or Plastic Hunger, but just let's let's take Necromancer 1 for, for now. Uh, and so next turn I hope to uh, take the city, uh, maybe take the gold mine, but I think it's quite far and not in my in my track. And I want to go to the, the tomb and to the fire altar on the southwest. Um, so we will see what happens next turn. And I have got also this uh, special task force of uh, scouts with one T3 and one T2 uh, when flying T3 who are exploring the map only. That's the beginning of turn 4. Uh, now I've got uh, still my two rules, one level 6 and the other also level 6. Um, the outpost I wanted to attack just proposed a quest to me, so let's see what it is. Uh, so. It's uh, they propose to reach, raise a watchtower, um, but it's very far, so I think I'm going to decline because I'm going to attack them just after, and uh, I will anyway lose the quest. So let's just decline this quest. Um, so bad it was not a gold mine to uh, to free, and then I built a draconian builder uh, to be able to uh, build fortresses and uh, gain some income from the sites I clear with my main stack. And now I'm going to attack the outpost <coughs> my, uh, and then go to the tomb. Uh, my troops do not have enough movement points to, to go to, uh, to the outpost and then go to the tomb. 
um, and then takes the haste berries to move somewhere else. So I'm going to attack with minimum troops and uh, see if I can I can get the outpost. And also I'm level six, so I hope that I can uh, level up to level seven and then go to the town to, to get some nice uh, undeads. So I didn't really go as expected, but still it was okay. Uh, I didn't check there was wetland uh, near the city, so I, I didn't have enough movement points to, to get um, back to the town with all my troops. Uh, but still, the lost soul and the cadavers are there. Uh, I, I took the city, um, and uh, it was not so bad. So yeah, I converted two cadavers additionally. So how I, how did I do it? Basically, I split their forces into two. Um, and then I killed the flamer, and then I killed the other troops. And, and also I managed to get uh, to level 7 with both my heroes, hero and leader. Uh, so I, I got uh, greater than less in that which was the objective. So I cast two heroes as usual, and I split their force with one cadaver in the west and in the east. Um, they split as, as I want. Then I did a small mistake um, here because I put uh, my troops uh, at range for the flamer to uh, hit two of my units. That's that's not a really good idea. Um, then I killed the um, flamer. Also, what I what I really like about cadaver is that they can uh, face pass wall. They can climb wall. So that's that's really good for siege. The lost soul, I just move it off uh, somewhere else so that it doesn't die. I break the wall with my hero um, and raise the cadaver. Then I just uh, heal one of the uh, crusher and the other, the other crusher uh, goes back to hit the diversion cadaver. Um, yeah, so I just kill the crusher. The, the necromancer did really do uh, a lot of damage. And then I raise cadaver, uh, and then they come back. Uh, I, I just go spear on them uh, because panic. I, I fell on this one, so I have to hit it with my cadaver and uh, kill it. Um, and uh, and then yeah, that's it. Let's go. So level seven, crater reanimated dead, and let's go. And then I attack the tomb, and it was really close to uh, uh, a. A really big disaster, but I managed to avoid it. Um, not this fight, the other one, yeah, this one. So uh, it was a bit too tough for me. So everyone died but my two heroes and Lorenzo, and I got a Dustbringer. Uh, yeah. So how did I do it? Uh, read the Bone Collector was too strong for me at this point because I basically have only. Uh, poison plus blight plus uh, uh, ice damage, uh, which doesn't really work on undead. And I have the flamer, but they they really got uh, attacked too too quickly because I, I failed to see that the Deathbringer could just shadow step on me. So I positioned myself. I I, I blast him with the flamer, and then. Uh, just after that, the Springer comes Shadow Step. Actually, I didn't even try to. Yeah, so the Springer comes Shadow Step uh, attack, and so that that was my mistake. I should have checked the uh, points on the Shadow Step. Uh, it would have been different, maybe. Bone Collector comes. Um, and so then what I did is to um, kill the, um, the Death Bringer. At that point, I, I, I wondered if I should be treated with everyone, but I thought maybe I can get the Death Bringer. So I killed the Deathbringer, um, it was really short, I, I just had enough damage to kill it, and then I reanimated it, and then I retreated. So I attack, uh, he has tar it, she has Tireless, so it's, it's not really nice to attack, because she always replicates. And then I kill it, and then I reanimate it, he's great for the then I move my Flamer back, um, and uh, I shoot at their three units so that they heal because each time they heal when they get the uh, reanimators, so that avoids uh, like yeah they heal and they do not attack me so that's great. Then the burn killer comes heal. Um, my second flamer gets attacked by the 
fire uh, dog. And uh, yeah, he reanimates, he raised cops, attacks my hero, so I'm not bad shape. But, uh, no, actually, he didn't attack, he just killed the collector, and which is very strong. I retreat, I retreat, and then I retreat also with Deathbringer. So the burn collector doesn't have much movement point left because uh, he hit me twice and I retreated. I, I, I keep my flamer without attacking so that the uh, he has all units attack it and, and it's a bringer and then the death bringer is left with only uh, 1 HP at the end of the fight but she is still alive and so I kept, I kept my death bringer now so that was really really bad uh, but uh, I didn't get killed this time yep, retreat Then I've got uh, yeah I did another fight to kill the uh, independent uh, cadaver which was my cadaver actually that got converted to race cadaver and I've got my two units two scots uh, who just take a rune a, a stone and um, so no which was there uh, with both units no they have uh, strong will devastating charge bring momentum and articulating. And it's nice because I'm going into art territory and I'm trying to find a skill and maybe take his cities with my plan C3. And then the builder is coming there uh, to build a force here and get the uh, income from this site. Uh, and I'm researching Whisper, I'm casting Whisper as a phone, and that's it. So see you next turn, guys.